Hey, it's Dana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. And for this video, we are going to talk about depression because this is something that I've experienced and I know that it's like a huge, huge issue in today's world where a lot of people feel really unhappy, really depressed, really unmotivated, really lost and just so many unfortunate negative things. And for my own experience, I found that it really stems from a disconnect with yourself and your own truth. A lot of people are doing things that they don't enjoy, that they don't want to do, and it's creating such a lack mentality, but also such a lack of purpose and a lack of fulfillment, a lack of joy. Like we're all disconnecting from our inner children, like our inner child, because of the fact that you have to work and you have to worry about bills and worry about all of these annoying things that never used to exist. So now we're having to literally worry about even surviving our basic survival needs. And so there's not as much time to do things that you actually want to do because people are having to take jobs just to be able to have some money and not because they actually enjoy it or want it so for me I really feel like it's a it's like our emotions and our subconscious and our body and our soul and our spirit and everything else about us is literally crying out for your attention when you feel depressed when you feel miserable when you feel unhappy there's parts of yourself that are literally begging you to just look at them and acknowledge them, to turn around or to yourself, like inwards to yourself and have that conversation with yourself of what is it about my life that I don't like? What is it in my life that doesn't bring me joy? Like literally I would even list this and write it out all of the things in your life that you don't like that doesn't bring you joy doesn't bring you excitement doesn't bring you unconditional love or any kind of good healthy happy emotion and really look at those things and be really brutally honest with yourself about those things and getting clear on why it's in your life and whether it's something that you necessarily need to keep in your life and what kind of changes you can then make to change that thing. So even if you can't get rid of it fully, maybe you can change the way that you go about it, the way that you have to do that thing, or if it's a person, the way that you interact with them and how often you interact with them. Is there some type of change that you can really make to bring about more joy and I really feel like, especially from my own experience, and I can only talk about from my own experience, m like the reason I even fell into, I always say the phrase fell into depression as if I literally tripped over, which is kind of weird. But <laughs> I only just realized that I say that. But anyway, the reason why I experienced it is because I wasn't doing things in my life that I enjoyed and I wasn't pursuing the things that I wanted to pursue, like my music and things like that. But then also in relationships and things, I wasn't expressing myself. I wasn't speaking my truth. I wasn't saying what I needed, you know. There's a lot of, um, I feel like it comes from a lot of fear and a lot of lack of belief in ourselves for whatever reason in whatever area of our lives that is making us feel unhappy. Sometimes we are not brave enough or willing enough to step into our truth and let the world see that you know so for me my truth was that I wanted to make music and things that my needs weren't being met in certain connections and stuff and instead of me being able to just express that and say like this is what I need can we adjust things and make that happen I just kind of withdrew into myself and didn't express myself, didn't communicate, just kind of sunk into a dark hole that I then had to try and pull myself out of. And it's because the fear of authenticity is just so 
huge and I feel like so many of us deal with that especially with social media and stuff like we're all afraid in some way to be ourselves or to even just accept the fact that this is who we are and a lot of the time when we get to the point of depression or to the point of like not wanting to get out of bed and feeling really, really low on a regular basis. It's because we've been living like this for so long, not doing things that we enjoy, not being ourselves, not telling people what we need and what we want in our life and all of those kind of things. We've been doing that for so long that obviously you're gonna feel miserable. If you spend your whole life or you spend years doing that every single day where you constantly suppress yourself, you suppress your emotions, suppressing how you feel and what you needed to say, and you constantly hold back on doing anything that you want to do or making any kind of change that you want to make if you it's literally like stifling yourself like like you're locking yourself in a cage is literally what it is but in your own mind you know so of course you're going to feel low of course you're not going to want to get out of bed of course you're not going to want to eat or you're not going to want to communicate with people and and experience your friendships like you normally would of course you're going to feel a type of way if you're constantly shutting yourself up basically in your own mind you're basically dismissing your own emotions dismissing your own wants and needs and then we feel like other people are doing that to us as well but the root of it is the fact that you're doing it to yourself and until you're willing to look at that and acknowledge the fact that that's happening you're not going to be able to make any changes so it really is a disconnect from ourselves and we have to be able to turn around in ourselves in our own minds and listen to all of those parts of ourselves that need certain things that enjoy certain things that want to do certain things and that want and need certain types of connections and certain types of things to happen in our relationships so it's just about being honest with yourself and once you're finally ready to have that honest conversation with yourself a weight will lift let me tell you, a weight will lift. And of course that doesn't just solve everything just because you finally realized what the issue is because you st still then need to actually deal with the issue. But it's the first step is acknowledging all of the things in your life that you're unhappy with and then looking at how you can change them what kind of things you can do right now what kind of things you want to work on and work towards and then gradually taking those steps to be able to do that and a key thing to be able to do all of this is to have a good relationship with yourself and to get comfortable with yourself as I've talked about in another video which I will link up here I'm not sure which side it is but to really build that connection with yourself so that you're able to be kind to yourself and hear yourself and trust yourself and trust how you feel and trust what you need enough to be able to do those things and stand by those things firmly in your truth. So again, this is a lot of inner work, a lot of mental processes and conversations with yourself. But I mean, that is kind of what life is. That's why we have our own individual um, consciousness and mind and thought processes and bodies and everything because we're supposed to be doing this for ourselves and no one can save you. Nobody is going to come and just make it all better. You have to do it for yourself by building that solid relationship with yourself so that you can then build those solid relationships with other people because you know what you want, you know what you need, you know what you want out of life in your own purpose and your own passions and hobbies and things, you know. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so, so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate you. If you would like a one-to-one -one session with me, the link to that is on my website in the description box below, as well as all links to my music, my social media, Elemental Mirror, my crystal jewelry brand, and everything else about me. I can't think what else there is to list. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, because I do upload four times a week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. It's always been mine